Hey everyone, welcome back to the Reptile Room. Today, we're going to talk about... Today, we're talking about all of our pet lizards. Isn't that right, Ronnie? And we're going to start with Ronnie. Check out the intro. So here are our lizards, and starting off with our lizard tour today is going to be Ronnie the Rhino Iguana. And he is a Cyclorichor Nuda. He is a very cool lizard. He is probably about three feet long, just about three feet. Look at those claws. Claws are big. He really got the hookup. So this enclosure that he's in is eight feet wide, eight feet tall, and five and a half feet deep. We have a water basin over here that has uh, an air stone in it that you've seen me install in the past. We have our UVB lighting, we have additional lighting, we also have our hot spot, we have a rock that he lays on, we've got live plants, I've got shelves, and I mean, he, he's got it all, he, he has it all. So something that I've done that I thought was pretty cool is I put this, uh, this uh, rope, the twine rope, I wrapped it up there, he really likes that, it really helps climb along. I've actually done that in the basilisk enclosure too, and you should check that out and give it a shot yourself. I think this rope is like, I think it was like $10 for 100 feet or something crazy like that. While we're over here, and they're out and about, I just wanted to show you the little geckos here. These are babies that we produced this year and we plan to keep. Well, we did not produce this one that you're looking at currently. That is one I picked up from a show. That is a tangelo, a tangerine albino. And this is from our Zero and Brad pairing. You see some cool back patterns. If it wasn't so glary, there you go. You see the cool patterns, not quite so much the white stripe that you would normally have, but very, very interesting. So those are just some geckos that just happen to be chilling right here next to Ronnie and they were out. I just wanted to show those to you real quick. Ronnie's fantastic, guys. Like, really though, if you were gonna get a big lizard that you wanted to hang out with that acted like a dog, the rhino iguana, really. Um, you know, super chill. Well, I mean, they'll definitely all give you a run for your money, but you know, it is what it is. And, and Ronnie, he's super chill. He is super fun to hang out with. I would highly recommend them. Now, our leopard geckos here that I was just talking about are also very fun, and we've been breeding the heck out of our leopard geckos this year, and unfortunately, all of our leopard geckos are all kind of hiding right now. I was trying to find them and whatnot, but this enclosure is 36 inches wide, 36 inches deep, and 18 inches tall. I've got about two and a half inches of cocoa fiber substrate in here. Now we've got two little egg, uh, lay boxes here uh, that it, all of these hides are made out of clay. I made them. I also check that video out. Um, there are four leopard geckos in here. The enclosure does really well, holds its temperature really well, holds humidity really well. It's wooden, had it custom made. Got a little cycle 24 7 cycle light. It dims to red and blue in the evenings. All uh, right, blue in the evening for moonlight. And then it drops down to red at night so that we can see and it doesn't affect their eyes. Now, many of you guys know that we also have plated lizard. Well, it's in the same 36 by 36 by 18 enclosure. We've got our hot spot over here. We've got water over here. Man, the plated lizard, like really what an unsung lizard. Um, never really heard about them and 
super fun, really fun. You get a lot of action out of them when they go to eat. They really, this one anyway, really, I'm guessing it was wild caught because it really likes to chase its dubia roaches around, um, which is cool. And then it shakes them around like a little monitor. They're pretty fun. And then all of you guys, I know that you only really care about our basilisks here. So <clears throat> one thing that I want to do real quick is I'm going to reach in there and we're going to pull out basil real fast. Well, we're not really gonna pull them all the way out, but I'll pull them up here and kind of like have them around. Cool? Cool. We've had these, uh, you know, we've got three basilisks. We have our male basilisk, who is right here. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. See, so you just reach in really nice and easy. We've been working on on this. This is the most out of the enclosure he's been. He may see himself and I don't know that I really want him to do that because if he takes off it's going to be a real treat to catch him. Now look at this tail. He's a he's probably three feet long. You know for I mean he's super chill. I, I didn't expect to be able to handle him for a really long time but he's really calmed down. I'm going to go ahead and put him up here. He's going to climb off on his own. Do you want to climb up there, buddy? No? Oh, there you go. All right, there you go. No? All right. Yeah, buddy. All right, he just did that all on his own. He's very fun. I really like these guys. These are like, these are like little velociraptors. They're so fast. They've got the fins. They do some head bobbing you see him doing right now. I've got some more uh, footage of them, but this enclosure I custom built as well. All of my enclosures in here are custom, except for these tanks. And honestly, guys, you're not going to see these tanks around probably a whole lot longer, to be totally honest with you, because uh, I don't like fish tanks uh, for reptiles. Now, I think one of our females may actually be pregnant, which would be crazy. Uh, we also have another female in the back here who is in shed right now. And that's just, you know, it looks super itchy. She's kind of tucked up, hanging out right behind him, right over here. Um, this enclosure anyway is about six feet tall. I think it's four and a half feet wide and three and a half feet deep. And the substrate layer, man, that's, I think I made it somewhere in the neighborhood of eight to 10 inches thick. Uh, very cool. It holds a lot of moisture. These are aquatic lizards, guys. You, you have to have big water dishes. And in fact, I don't think I have a big enough water dish in here. So we've got a couple of plans coming down the pipeline here soon. And I hope you guys consider sticking around and, uh, you know, consider subscribing. Like, these guys are chill. Who knows, maybe one day it'll jump on my face and take a big old bite out of it. That'd be crazy. Oh, you just did a little yawn? I, now, these females, the females are never going to let me pick them up, I don't think. Huh. Nope. She's actually just trying to take a bite at me right now. Huh. She is looking really, really thick. I've been feeding them just an absolute ton because they are growing like weeds and I want to make sure that they, you know, that they, they stay nice and thick. I don't want them to get super thin, but you also don't want to overfeed them. You know, he's got a couple of wrinkles. He's got a couple of wrinkles on the side of him, and that's what you want to see. You want to fill them up to where they stretch it out, and then you want it to um, come back a little bit, and that that is what is better. You want those wrinkles to be there. Same thing with the rhino iguana. Same thing with the leopard geckos. You don't want to overfeed, guys. Don't overfeed your animals. They'll be super lazy. You want them to be active. You want them to burn off uh, stuff. Huh, huh, little lady. Do you want to come? Ah, ah, ah. Oh, wow, she is really super hot. Let me see if I can get a video of this for you. These guys are like little tiny velociraptors. I absolutely love it. I really do. And Ronnie is like our big T-Rex. You know, he is, he is a tank. 
He's just a beast. I absolutely love Ronnie. I love, I love our lizards. Our lizards are way crazy. Um, and crazy in a good way. You know, um, I really enjoy watching them. I spend time down here and you can hear the basilisks freaking running around. They're, they're insane. They are, really are super fast. And when you get them all amped up, when you get them all amped up, you can really hear them running around. They chase each other, it's pretty crazy. Now, the other thing that we also have in that enclosure is they, they have live fish down here. We feed them, I mean, a ton of different types of feeders. Uh, dubias, superworms, mealworms, tilapia. Uh, we've got, what is that, red runners? I think we've done red runners once. Uh, I've done, oh yeah, I've even done rat pups. I mean, they eat anything. And the rat pups will really get a good uh, a good reaction out of him, but you know I really I also like our little females. No, no. Okay, I would really love to be able to handle our females as well, but I just don't I just don't think that's going to happen. But you know it is what it is with those guys. But before I leave you, I just want you guys to know that Ronnie right here, thinks you guys should be consider becoming a patron. Right, Ronnie? He, you should go over there and become a patron because we do a giveaway. You could even win, you know, you could win a piece of jewelry that's made with his, uh, his shed skin. So you could have a piece of the reptile room. I don't know, it's a thought, think about it. The other thing I ask you to do is just click the subscribe button. It really helps, even dropping a like. I mean, it really helps promote the videos and do the analytics-y thing. Um, it's all, it's all cool. I really appreciate every single subscriber. Every single minute of watch time that you guys have done is really fantastic. It really means a lot to me. I did not think I would be making, what, 100 videos? Yeah. If you want to see that stuff coming up and you want to see what we have coming down the pipeline you really have got to subscribe guys subscribe like comment on the videos get involved follow me on instagram all the fun stuff all those links are down in the description guys we are going to see you guys next week